Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Hanoi Talk. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, let's jump into it. Today's episode is going to be about um, my life after graduating high school. Um, I'm only gonna really say it like a certain time just to keep you guys interested. Um, so, as I told you guys before, like one of my first videos up on this channel, um, that I was a star on Edge of 18. Um, it was this docu-series I was a part of, showing my life during graduation and um, my whole senior year, and yeah, just how my life was rolling. Um, so after graduating high school, um, I moved to Pennsylvania. I went to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and my life started there as an adult. Um, Throughout my time in the summer, I was enjoying my time, you know, just before school started because school started in Pennsylvania in August, which was really weird. It actually started a few, um, like the same week as my birthday. And over here in New Jersey, um, I started school in September, the first day of September, which was weird, but whatever. So, uh, my intentions to move to uh, Pennsylvania were very personal. Um, it was basically me just um, starting off a new journey in my life and once I start getting more comfortable with sharing my life I guess I'll start getting into it um, but I started there I started doing makeup I went to Sephora and this lovely lady I actually have her name because I still have um, like I save my um, information each year like each time I new I always get the new iPhone but before I always get the new iPhone you know you have to back up your phone um, so I actually still have um, the notes from when I first went to oh my god this was September 2nd um, 2014 that's so crazy Ali Ali from um, one of the malls in Allentown I think it was she worked at Sephora I think it was the one in JC Penney if you ever come across this video, God bless you. You've influenced my life so much and you know, I've been changing ever since and I became this big better person and you know, I've tried out a bunch of new things and honestly, I thank her for everything because she's made my confidence boost like 10 times and you know, God bless her. If you ever see this, I don't know if you'd ever really remind, remember my face, but whatever. So. I went to Sephora and I tried on makeup. She did my makeup um, and literally I fell in love. Like, my, I don't have insecurity issues. This is the thing. I don't have insecurity issues with myself. I know I look good with or without makeup. With makeup, I feel so much better. Okay, I feel so confident. I feel so great. I know I look good even without makeup, but I feel so much better with it. And it's just something that, you know, I can't really explain. It's, I just feel good. Like, I just feel really happy. I love myself 10 times more. You know, like, it's just amazing. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy for myself. Um, so she did my makeup, Ali did my makeup, and you know, she gave me a list of what I should get, and basically everything she did on my face, and you know, like, I sold the camera that I had, it was a Canon XY10 something, I'm not really sure, but it was a huge video camera, and it was actually really good, but I like my T5i. Um, and you know, I sold it for like 1800 and you know, some guy from like Colorado bought it, and with that went to Sephora and I went on a splurge I spent like $300 on makeup and you know I was new to Pennsylvania so I didn't even have a job yet so I really wasn't even focusing on a job like I didn't even bother applying like I was just like I really don't care I'm here for school and for other reasons work was not really one of my main things even though it should have but you know whatever so I did that and then from there that's when I first started doing like makeup on myself and you know that's where my confidence came in and I just loved it I felt great so I started going to uh, my community college around there in Lancaster and I started getting fitted within the neighborhood I'm very social and very um, I'm just not afraid to like you know to talk to people or anything I'm not shy or whatever it is but I come I was born in New York and I was raised here in New Jersey this is very urban Lancaster was literally so dead. So 
dead. It's a beautiful town, don't get me wrong, it's very nice over there, but it is so dry. Like, I really feel like there was nobody there. Like, I set a certain type of um, standard for myself, I guess, and you know, like, None of the env that environment environment was just not for me like at all. That was probably one of the biggest mistakes I ever did in a living way, but I don't regret my time being there cuz I got to figure myself out so much because I was isolated. I'm telling you. I got to figure out like what it is to be Hanoi, what it is to be gay who I am and I figured out a lot about myself and it was a beautiful experience you know the people I was living with wasn't so great <laughs> um sip that tea but you know like I was appreciative for the opportunity and you know I was grateful because they gave me free rent and well no I gave them money like a few times I was literally there from like the end of August until mid-October so I was really only there for like a month and like basically like a month and like three weeks in total uh, I'll get to that in a second um, but yeah like it was an awesome um, opportunity I was totally grateful and you know like it was great because I really got to figure myself out I got to see who um, I should allow into my life um, who should be in my circle you know I got to appreciate my family much more and I really feel as if like everybody should have a certain time to themselves where you know like where you're in a part where like you're all alone like you're isolated I feel like when you're isolated and you have no one in that you would normally speak to or anything like that you don't have nothing to do but to really think and talk to yourself okay we might talk to yourself but you know think to yourself and you know just like collect some thoughts and it's very useful because you know it's, it feels good to really recognize who you are and recognize all the blessings you have like wow um so yeah I went to school I was studying psychology there and you know like I was just doing that because I was kind of learning more about myself and I knew that was the easy way out because I couldn't afford um, a therapist or anything like that. So I was just like, let me just take classes for it, I guess. And it actually worked. I spoke a lot to um, my, one of my teachers, my English teachers, and he was amazing. Um, during my time there, I went to go shoot the reunion uh, for Edge of 18. Um, and when I came back, it was disastrous, whatever. Um, Edge of 18's reunion was so much fun. I felt so good. I had an amazing time seeing my cast members again, um, my co-cast members, whatever. They were really awesome. It was an amazing opportunity to see them again and all. Um, and yeah, like that that chance to, you know, explore myself was amazing. I would literally recommend that to anybody. Go to a place where you know you're outside of your comfort zone and you know, like that's where you really get to see who you really are and who really loves you you know like it's just amazing it's really amazing I think that everybody should try it at least for like a month to three months or something like that I heard the best is three months um, I couldn't handle it whatever um, so whatever I got back from the from Washington DC from filming the reunion and I came to my room and you know the people I, were li I was living with it they did some really shady shit so I packed my shit I destroyed some shit literally just imagine a bad girls club scene and you know just imagine my face on the girl and that was me like I went crazy and I packed my shit and I left like I was like bye <laughs> you guys were corny whatever I moved back to my family and I started working again and now I'm doing YouTube. <laughs> you know, I'm working, you know, I'm seeing therapy and honestly it is amazing. It, I feel like everybody should have a therapist. Not your friend, not your mother, not your... I feel like you should really, everybody should see somebody that's professional in that field because it is so relaxing. It feels so good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. To keep you guys updated, you know, all I do is really YouTube, I work, I'm in college, um, I'm planning some things. Yo no quiero hablar de eso todavía. Yes. <laughs> Alright you guys, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and you know, weekly updates. Alright you guys, bye!